You have a moment? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. So, I, uh... in here, that's what. We should go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. This is much better. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city, and whatever worries I had would seem so small. Do you remember what I said at the top of Orc or Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Well, I've been thinking a lot since then. About what peace really means. If it's just the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. I realized nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. Really, I feel proud somehow. It's an answer I arrived at by trying to be true to myself. That you think I succeeded, it means a lot. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness! <sighs> it's just like Kryl said. By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. 
It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began. But there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. If it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much, and in so short a time. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? <laughs> Thank the gods for that. Well, I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace. But I'll see you back at the cabins. The fierce chaparral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest, Yachtel. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named. It is here, where the Chebral and Mamulja once battled for dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. The vegetation is far denser than in Kozumalka. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. A cenote? Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said. And after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. So, don't take a tumble. It was one time! Is the Chabral community depicted in the Lay of Repast close by? Aye. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. Ah, 
At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. If I've known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Eligarmanda in the first place. You self-serving piece of weaver dung! Do you have any idea how many could have been hurt? <clears throat> Now that we are assembled, let us begin. My name is Hunmuruk. As Ibrash Rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Third promise, if you would please join us. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Twelve forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. Clements, please present your colors. I have red. Blue. On separate teams, then. And the rest? Red! Which means... Together again. As fate would have it. <laughs> Victory's as good as ours! With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. Not the one head. Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Shebrook Bibil. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. The peoples we've met on our journey 
They've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Let the feet of repast begin. I've never actually heard of Shibruk Bibio before. It's a light, I wonder. This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorkwe's departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until Father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. First they sealed Bali Yarmanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales, come! We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then! Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance?
You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honor visitor here. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable. As is foreign power's awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil, and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine. What do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front, an alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? I'd take you for a liar if the sting of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our Ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! Give us an evening to convince you. And so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health. And, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamulja partook of spiced meat, and the Chevrol steamed Najul. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said would be even better combined, and he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. That's Seabrook P. I'd wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Chabral and Mamulja cultures, and proof of their newfound cooperation. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but 
The feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the Dawn Servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age-old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. It's somehow so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Bibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. What's wrong? Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. Still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. T at first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Be quiet, Baku Jaja. No one cares what you think. Huh. Act tough all you like. Victory will be ours. It's ready. Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibruk Pibil. <gasps> this looks amazing! The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jibral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then... Texture and aroma. You have recreated Shibruk Bibil. Admirably. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. 
You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yachtel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. All that remains is to partake of your creation. True understanding is gained only through experience. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. Ahem. I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. I see. While your effort to look the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Ugh, it's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. The brook is so tender it melts in your mouth, and the way the Najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. This is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. Choke on your harmony. Come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. You don't have to tell me twice. Ah, <sighs> that was bliss. You've got real culinary talent. If you ever tire of adventuring, you can always be my personal chef.
It was palatable enough, I suppose. To you, who have successfully performed the feat of repast, I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Well, I should get going then. I'm glad that I, uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. We can do better than that, surely. The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. something important. Um, was there any shiplock people left? I could really use another helping. What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Jaja, you snake! If you want my keystone so badly, you'll deal with me and me alone. Leave the Elector out of this. <laughs> is that all you think he is? Foolish kitty! This man is the reason we are here. Take a good look at him. Go on. Look. Surely you recognize your real father. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted Selsworth. She heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Is it true? Is Homoruk my... Your silence says it all. Now that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. I'll even let you fight for them. Just you and me. If that adventure and attempts to interfere. I'll kill the old man myself! You despicable, heartless fiend! Kinsman or no? I won't stand for you taking hostages! 
Come on, then. You want a fight? I'll give you a fight. Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise. I'm shaking. Guard our hostage well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. By the by, house cat, they've been instructed to put down Papa Dearest when you lose. Hopefully he settled his affairs. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. Well, what are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. I know I didn't hear you right. on me. The house cat, remember? I'll say it again. I'm not losing to the likes of you. I'm going to become Don's servant, and I will protect my people! I reclaim what you stole. No. no. How could this be? How could that puny house cat beat all of us? You've caused nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening the Hanu Hanu, releasing Vali Armanda. Harassing me is one thing, but you've endangered too many innocents. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. No. <laughs> He had the way blocked. What? That was his doing? The only part left in the saga is the Lay of the Brotherhood in Mamuk. The plan was to force you here so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But, uh... Should you be telling us this? <sighs> what does it matter? 
You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. Cool Jaja said about you and me. Hi. Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. It has been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Promise. Yes. That's what I am. I'm Gulul Jaja's daughter, and Tuli Hyolal's next dawn servant. Come on. Let's rejoin the others. The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibil? <laughs> So thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. But there is an ignorant. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that Father forged during his journey across Tural. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations that I failed to understand my own people. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy dawn servant? To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage? That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. Understanding begets fellowship, as my father said. And yet, what you suggest does not come naturally to me.
I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own, painful in their familiarity. Yet frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense, and simply be. Do you remember when you first approached us, and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlian for your country, and in doing so, repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this, and in time, they'll come to support you as we do. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. Very well then. I will make a greater effort to be myself. By not being my usual self so much. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. With eternal life and no struggle or conflict, it's certainly an ideal worth striving for. Who knows if we could make such a world a reality. But renouncing war and conquest seems like a good place to start. I understand that making everyone happy isn't practical or even possible. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Well, what are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. I know I didn't hear you right. You think this weakling could hurt me? I kill you, kill you, kill you! Come 